Welcome back. You're still watching Morning Live. Now, let's face it. Money matters can feel scary and complicated. But the truth is that it doesn't have to be. As we wind down the first month of 2022, Metropolitan is launching their hashtag We Start 2022 Stronger campaign, which aims at equipping consumers with knowledge and tools to better manage their financial matters and reduce the anxiety associated with money so that they can level up their their financial game and start the year stronger. Now, to share more on the campaign, we chat to influencer and digital entrepreneur Kay Khatebe. Good morning, Kay. Welcome to Morning Live. I mean, how does uh, good financial management skills help consumers reduce their levels of anxiety? Look, one of the things that we discussed in the series that can be found on YouTube um, is that ignorance is not bliss when it comes to financial matters. And so we uncover a lot of topics, taboo topics that people like to really hide under the, you know, under the fall. So things like debit orders, claims, and just uncovering some of these financial terms that we usually shy away from. And so I think that, you know, in this case, ignorance is not bliss. And the topics that we cover in this series will enable people to feel empowered so that their anxiety is much more reduced. I suppose we should then start with We Start 2022. What is it and what is the campaign about? So We Start 22 Stronger is a series of three episodes that can mm. be found on Metropolitan social pages. So they're available on their Facebook page and their YouTube page. And it's basically three episodes. And in each episode, we sit around the table having a nice, lovely lunch cooked for us by Chef Lindsay. And we just casually discuss these financial topics. And we've got a variety of experts around the table. We've got a representative from Metropolitan. We've got um, Gerald, who's a financial planner. You've got myself. And then we just have rolling guests in every episode. And so it's just a casual conversation about some of these really, really Really important topics. Mm -hmm. And why is money such an, an uncomfortable topic? Uh, I mean, in the beginning, you also spoke about uh, the taboo stuff like debit orders that we don't talk about. But yes. generally, why is money such an uncomfortable topic? You know, that's one of the questions that was asked on the show. And, I, you know, one of my answers was because it always feels like there's never enough. You just never have enough. And that's down to, you know, not having adequate financial planning, the current, you know, unemployment crisis we have, just a variety of issues. And so I think, like I said earlier on, um, we have this, op we adopt this attitude that ignorance is bliss and we just want to hide from our problems, hide from the people we owe, hide from our insurers and things like that. And we really go into a lot of detail into why that would um, leave you in a worse position if you were to do that in the series. Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk about how we can change that. Uh, what are, w where do we even start? Where do we begin having comfortable conversations and honest conversations about money? Well, we discussed as well in, in the series that, you know, you need to find somebody that you can trust to discuss your financial matters. Someone on the show mentioned that they, you know, discuss everything that they do with their partner, some people with their family members. But, you know, there was also the thing of, oh, but I don't want my family members to know how much I'm earning because, you know, that could cause a whole lot of problems as well. And so one of the advice was to make sure that the people who you're in business relationship, financial business relationships with your bankers, your insurers, et cetera, that you have a very open and honest uh, relationship with them where you're finding out what it is that they expect from you, what are their expectations of you so that you can have this honest, open communication. For instance, with debit orders, if you're going to be unable to meet your debit orders, it's better to let them know in advance, things like that. And so, yeah, it was about finding those great business relationships, maybe finding a financial planner if you're able to get your hands on one. And the great thing with Metropolitan, they mentioned that they're really trying to be as accessible as possible. So they actually have a WhatsApp line where you can contact them on WhatsApp and ask them any questions that you may have. So things like that would really, really help us. And I mean, there's a good side to money as well and having these open discussions as well, isn't it? Yes, yes, of course. Talk to us about some of the members of the panel um, that you are having these discussions with. You spoke about Chef Lin Tzu, uh being the chef and giving you food, but who else is on uh, this panel? So Chef Linzo actually also participated in the, in the conversations. He used to, in a past lifetime, be an investment banker. And so he brings a really fresh perspective of what it's like as a freelancer, you know, mm. someone who doesn't get paid regularly and what that's like for him. So he does add to the dialogue as well. He made us some amazing meals over the three days. Then we've got Usis Nomsa, which she's more like the MC, the host, but she shares her perspectives on these financial matters as well. We've got Gerald. Gerald is a certified financial planner, and he is there to really give us the nitty-gritties on these tough discussions. 
lessons. And then you've got myself. I'm an influencer. I make, I create uh, videos on YouTube about helping young people make money online. And so I'm always like asking them questions about how can young people apply this? Because we talk about things like wills and funeral policies. And I'm just there to really bring that youth voice. Mm. And then in every episode, we've got two guests. So just regular clients of Metropolitan who are there just to share their personal experiences, ask the question. Oh, as well, we've got... Um, Kusinazo, who's the representative from Metropolitan. And so it's a balanced table. It's a, it's a very relaxed atmosphere where we really get to discuss these issues in an intimate, friendly, and casual manner. Mm. What have you taken away from the discussion so far? Sure. In every episode, you know, I, I, I just learned so much. For instance, and in the first episode where we talk about debit orders, they really discuss NATO and what that is and what it means. And so now I'm just much more open minded when it comes to how I handle my debit orders. In the second episode, I think we discuss claims. Right. And in the claims process, how, you know, as often if we don't play our part as a consumer, you can really lose out. But if we play our part, then we really can feel empowered and have a great business relationship with the insurers. And then in the last episode was about some assured. And so in that episode, we really went into the details of, um, we did some calculations around the table of how much money you'd actually save. For instance, if you started to have an education policy for your child when they're six months old versus when they're seven years old, and we do some calculations and it was really eye-opening. But overall, it was a really, really great series and I, I, I learned a lot. There's a lot, a lot of little nuggets that everybody can glean from. So you don't have to be a, a financial professional, just a regular consumer. You will really, really benefit a lot from watching the series. And the episodes are short. They're about 37 minutes on YouTube each. Mm. And I want to talk about mm -hmm. the discussion with uh, young people. How should we be um, shaping the conversation, packaging that conversation for younger people to understand the financial side of their lives? Yeah, so one of my concerns, I mean, we're sitting around the table, we're discussing wills, we're discussing funeral policies, we're discussing claims and things like that. And, you know, a lot of the people that watch my videos on YouTube are unemployed. I make videos for people that are job hunting, job seeking. Mm. And so I understand that a lot of those people in that category feel like, oh, debit orders, that has nothing to do with me. I don't even have a salary. I don't even have any money, you know, to, to even put towards these things. And in this series, we really discuss how important it is to, even if you can't yet you know, afford to pay for those services, but at least spend this time learning about them. And that's what series like this um, um, will enable you to do is at least get yourself learning, at least get yourself ready and prepared so that when you are in a financial position eventually to be able to afford these things, you know exactly where to go, you know exactly what to do. Mm -hmm. What were the highlights for you of being part of this, um, uh, uh, what, do you, what is it called? The, uh, the metropolitan um, aspect of this. Why, why was it important for you to be part of it? I really liked that um, Metropolitan is really trying to demystify financial education. You know, it can be so intimidating. And um, initially with myself, I was like, what am, you know, what do I know about these things? Why am I here? But I realized that because we can all share and all ask these experts different questions that enable them to understand to explain to us in a way that we can understand. So for me, the highlight was definitely the food. The food was amazing. Um, just the conversation um, in between the, the shots, we we talk more and we elaborate on some of the topics. So it was just a really, really lovely, intimate chat. I really enjoyed myself. All right. Uh, Kei Khatebe, thank you so much for talking to us. Uh, Let's Start 2022 Stronger is a campaign by Metropolitan. And we just spoke to Kei Khatebe on ways to manage your finances better this year. All right, let's give you question of the day. That's what we are asking you uh, today about the adjustments you're making to your uh, budget, to the price of petrol and diesel are expected to increase in March. How are you adjusting your lifestyle to prepare for these hikes? Might as well, in the same breath, just uh, give us or share with us tips on how uh, you could, uh, you know, keep your fuel consumption a little lower as, uh, you know, these uh, petrol hike de eat deep into our pockets. You can tweet us at Morning Live SAPC, hashtag Morning Live SAPC. Let's take a look at uh, some of the tweets.